one of my pastors used to tell us that what I'm preaching to you today, if I find you preaching the word of God in the next five, six years, and you virtually be repeating what you heard from me, it means that you're not learning. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that the good old professor will expect that we'll just agree with him in total in mm -hmm. all his, 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 his proclaims, or yeah. his, his, uh, what, is it, uh, what he agreed upon. But what I want to say with corruption, I think that President Nana Adudanko Akupadu wrote a camel of corruption into the presidency. What am I talking about? Mm. He wrote on the back of corruption. There was no way Nana Akudu could make a statement in two, three minutes without talking about the fact that the John Draman and Mahama administration was very corrupt. And repeated it severally to the point that many Ghanaians believe that the anti-corruption character of President Nana Adudanko Akupadu, that indeed was an incorruptible material for our politics. And we voted for him in 2016. You know what he did? He entered into the Jubilee House and turned around and killed the camel. Mm. The camel that he rode into the Jubilee House had been slaughtered. Why am I saying this? He came into office and all of us believe, if for nothing at all, his past record, at least his statement that he's made, if we, we can follow him on that, he will be the best in terms of the fight against corruption. He created the office of the special prosecutor, and we all applauded him. When he appointed lawyer Martin Amido, I smiled. Because I've known Martin Amido for some years. And I knew there was no way that he was going to work successfully with Mr. President. Martin Amido is a very principled person. And he can't just take it if it is wrong. How many years has he been in the office? What are the achievements of the office of the special prosecutor? Mm -hmm. What is the president proud of in creating that office? Look at the budget. The vote for that office. How much has Ghana spent on that office? What is the outcome? What is the impact on the Ghanaian economy? What is the impact on the president's own vision? Mm 